Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF Rules Cup first round. This is a 32 player knockout tournament. You can see three people got buys. I actually made a video setting it all up so we don't need to repeat that. We've got Euro Bowl rules and we've got a great first round matchup. We've got Artemis Black versus Kalon in the first round and in the booth with me is Dimmy G. Hello Dimmy. Hello Jimmy, hello everybody. Yep. We've got a Necromantic Mirror. Ne so this is Euro Bowl rules, so Necromantic had a very good package. And uh, Art, went, Art went away from the usual. He he actually took the eighth skill. He took a dirty player zombie, whereas most people swap that to change the dirty player zombie for cash to turn him into a ghoul. That's what, that's what most Necromantic coaches did. And that's what Kalon's done. Kalon also has the Wrestle yeah. Wolf. Which I don't hate. And uh, Art also yeah. has a wrestle wolf. They? So they both actually got a wrestle wolf. I like how he had a quick snap, moved the golems in, <laughs> and then on his turn moved them back again. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Very <laughs> Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> got to keep people on their toes, haven't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Make sure you activate all your players. Yeah, no, no blitz there from Artemis, was there? No. Interesting. I mean, who do you want to blitz fan foam or side set? Exactly, yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, we've guard as well, yeah. I'm surprised Kalon's bothering to blitz, honestly. I would have just passed the turn if I was Kalon. <laughs> oh, he's going to hit the foul appearance guy. Oh. Oh, he's not, Jim. He's, he's going to get hit. Instant one and nine. Diced. Instant dicing for Kalon. This also means. Oh my god, this also means that his wolf is exposed. He's Gollum. His wolf's exposed, though, isn't it? Like, his Gollum's getting punched. But the wolves are exposed. Yeah. But with Sol. With Sol? With Art assisting with, a, with his own fleshy, I guess. Um. That means the wolf is not exposed. A blockless blitz. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> well, it wasn't very exposed, was it, the fleshy? Or the wolf. So, of course, now Kalon is definitely going to blitz into this uh, golem and stand firm. Uh, but he misclicked. <laughs> or oh, is he, Jimmy? He misclicked. Or oh, is he? Oh, no, he misclicked. <laughs> That's beautiful, isn't it? Setting up the chain push and then not standing firm. He actually could have hit again, right? He actually could have just... He could have taken the push. Like, if he'd known he wasn't going to do this, he could have taken the push, hit him again, and then chained the fleshy into there to, like, uphill the ball, go for the 1 in 36, let's go. It'd be a wonder, you wouldn't it? <laughs> no, oh, no, because he'd have to push. Yeah, you'd have to push him to Oh, the, 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 the white... Yeah, the wraith. Yeah, all the wraiths would have made it... Uh, Impossible. So yeah, it was just a misclick there from Kalon. Pretty, pretty brutal one. Yeah, horrible. Strands is yeah. <laughs> just get instantly hit by, by a wolf and KO'd. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice misclick, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's brutal, isn't it? And his other, his other flesh is getting clawed as well because there's a there's a wolf here, and his wolf gets hit as well because he didn't. Stand firm, so he had to follow, which meant he was tagged. And oh god, yeah, disaster! It's, a, it's an absolute disaster. But wrestle costing uh, Artemis there. Okay, he gets it. Wow. Second hit. Or is it Jim? Well, it could have done. Dirty player foul is coming in here. A huge foul. Massive. Almost guaranteed, isn't it? What is this? Four assists. Four assists is pretty good. Yeah, plus DP. Plus DP. A full pal. Another removal. So there you go. Two KOs on Fleshies is basically a one drive for Artemis now. So now. Let's uh, get sent off though. He does, yeah. But basically a one drive right now. He's just got to. Uh, Tee off as much as possible for the rest of the half with the fleshies out. This is a very, uh, very good opportunity for maximum banging. 
Will Art get just normal dice? <laughs> I'm sure that's all he wants, Jim. Yeah. So th this is uh, this is very bizarre here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kalon puts in the guard here to give him two into two, right? He's three, four, five, six. Why is it pausing there? Right. See, so, so he, he puts in this assist so he can two dice into two dice with his wolf, right? Yep. And then he doesn't, he just does a 1D. It is a bit weird. Yeah. And then he does this blitz. <laughs> and obviously he stands firm, so if he'd just done that first, this one would have been a 2D. Very weird, I don't. i tell you what it might have been, is if he knocks that golem over, and then he knocks... That golem over, he can then jump. I guess he could jump over it anyway. But like, he might be something to do. With, like, he's probably like just a like jumping. A, yeah, like a brain. It could be. It could be a brain fart, but it could also be like some five D. It could like, have given him a three plus jump instead chess. of a four plus jump. Yeah. So. Yeah. But still, I think it's better just to get another two D. <laughs> one in nine. One instant one in nine. <laughs> but yeah, like you say, well, both columns gone. This is looking pretty, pretty resolved. Luckily for Kalon, they are both KOs. If Artemis scores, is going to get two rolls on both. Yeah. More likely to come back than than not. Yeah, but great for great for. Oh my god. Okay. Well, the one D power. I was going to say great for securing the drive, but maybe not if Kalon keeps one D powering him. <laughs> well, there'll be some mental equity. Right? Yeah, yeah. You obviously you've got to assess this as like a huge advantage for Artemis now. Yeah, yeah. It's like... Regardless of perceived coaching advantage, I do hate um, blitzing over there when he could have blitzed over here, got his own wolf. Like he, his wolf could have hit Art's wolf. You know, he could have like come over there, blocked there, and then blitzed here, but doesn't just try to dodge away. So I did kind of. Uh, there's a. There's. A, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I did watch this game live, and there was there was a lot of things that Kalon did that were, uh, uh, you know, not good. Um, which, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'll, I'll try and say shit because that's the thing, right? If I say shit, I'll say shit because, so that there's you know, takeaways, not not doner kebabs, but you know. Um, I think Kalon likes a good takeaway. Yeah. Constructive crit. Oh my god, another one in nine. Really, game? And that gives him the hit on the zombie. The mega hit on the zombie. <laughs> I mean, some things were shit. <laughs> some things were questionable. <laughs> but some things were definitely shit. But yeah, some things... Like, that's it. At the end of the day, right? Like, I don't know what Kalon's thinking. Um, and, you know, there, there, there obviously can be a reason for the things he's doing that I just don't know what the reason is. So, yeah. Questionable is better. Plus, you know, who's to say... If it's good or bad. But sometimes it is bad, isn't it? Sometimes you can tell that it's bad. And I think it's I don't think it's toxic to say something's bad if it's bad. So that was to get a, a side step on the ball, which is alright, isn't it? Art's only got one reroll. I think just trying for the ball base and get lucky is pretty valid. Four three out, look a dog. Oh amazing. You could hear the shouts in uh, from from Wales in Darlington there. <laughs> <laughs> so he does go for the frenzy trap blitz gets the knockdown instantly but it was 75% the wrestle coming in good there wasn't it so I, I don't hate the wrestle it's hard to hard to assess how good the wrestle is it really is sometimes it's really nice to have and sometimes you just wish it was another another block player and even getting a stun as well, really locks down the side. He's just got the, the massive man advantages. 
just incredible now, isn't it? All of this stuff. Very. Locked. It's interesting that they've uh, they've both gone for the wrestle as well. Mm. I mean, I guess the logic is like you can only blitz with one piece per turn, so it's like you kind of pick which one you want. But in reality, it is. The reality is you don't often get to choose, right? Yeah, that was a nice. This was a nice blitz for the uphill surfs, wasn't it? That was good. That was a good chain from Kalon. Oh my god, he nearly got him as well. That was really nice, wasn't it? And I like the position there. If, you know, from Art putting the guard on everybody. I thought that was a good position for Art locking everything down, but it was not, was it? He created the T shape. And uh, Kalon nearly punished him. Punch it. It was a nice play, that wasn't it? Lovely, lovely play. Very good from Kalon. A little bit unlucky. If it was a wrestle wolf, he'd have got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the wrestle wolves were being removed. Wow. Yeah, he would have got him if that was the wrestle wolf. That's crazy. Oh god, these are in the same square. <laughs> okay, now they're sorted. That was good. That was good from Kill. But Art still has a reroll, so unfortunately, it just means that his wolf's getting served. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, cruel world. Yeah. His ghouls getting hit with. Multiple Ooh. people. That was interesting, wasn't it? I would have, I would have rather liked the free up. It's the pal. Oh, he's gonna surf the goo. No, he's surfing the wolf. No, he surfed the wolf. Oh, Blitz, we blocked him. <laughs> you do. But, except um, when you don't. Yeah, except when you don't, yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, another foul? Another foul? Well, the ghoul bludger's pretty nice to get rid of, right? Another so. removal and sent off. <laughs> so two fouls, two send offs for art. Fantastic. But yeah, millions of KOs. Five huge KOs. Yeah. And a zombie. Yeah. Six chaos, Jesus. Oh, Kaz. Regen. That's the only thing stopping Art from going full tilt there. <laughs> oh, instant regen. Punches the wolf. It's not a bad idea. Mm. So now we can surf the goo. Le double push. <laughs> and Amazing. Another one. And another one. And another one. <laughs> didn't, see that? didn't he? He got a defender stumbles <laughs> yeah. and he got a pow. And then he's picked the defender stumbles, and then Kalon didn't. Oh, he's got dodge on auto, and he. Yeah, probably. And he's dead. Uh, <laughs> and he's got dodge on auto. And he's dead, which gives which gives Art another zombie. That could be absolutely crucial with two send offs. Wow. That was a fun little surf, wasn't it? I mean, it was. Yeah, like it's. Like I say, he must have had dodge on auto because when <clears throat> when he takes the stumbles and the power, like you obviously know he's surfing you. Yes, yeah. Yeah, there's times when you should have dodge on auto. Like you don't need it. Like there's times when you should have dodge on on optional. You don't have to have it on optional all the time. But you know, if you're playing frenzy, you should probably think about it. <laughs> yeah. Or like, like Skaven. Because, cause yeah, yeah, like against one turns and uh, 
surfs because a lot of the time like you know you can misclick right i've seen dave or misclick when he like you know just didn't use dodge and then fell over and it's like you know, I don't trust myself to not misclick them. <laughs> so I'm happy having it on auto 99% of the time. And then if I play against a one turn, I'll turn it off. It would have been really interesting this half. Like, um, oh, there was a there was a, a, a ref. A, a vicious ref, ref. A vicious ref. Yeah, sent off. A vicious ref. And he just went. <laughs> just <laughs> randomly. That's so stupid. Yeah, it would have been interesting that half had the misclick with the stand firm not happened because then he may have two golems mm. and his werewolf doesn't get hit and stuff like that. So it's it's like one little thing like that and it really kind of got punished. Do you mean you did have it on manual, Kalon? Because if you had it on auto, then <laughs> then it wouldn't work, right? Oh, wait, so you, you picked to use dodge. Wow, so it just doesn't work. Okay, brilliant. Well done, Cyanide. <laughs> oh, wait, it didn't let him pick dodge. Mm -hmm. It didn't let him pick to not dodge, right? Yeah. yeah. Iron Man plus AV. Plus AV goo, pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty... I mean, the kickoff events have been great for uh, Kalen. Yeah. Like sent off Wrestle Wolf and an AV up. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Pretty nice. Really nice. I don't like moving so much back here. So this is half two, isn't it? What What is this? Three, six, nine. Only ten players, and still eleven for Art, because because he's got the extra player from the kill. But yeah, that 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 officious ref is horrendous, isn't it? I hate I hate officious ref. <laughs> Art's got ten. And Art's got eleven. How is he? Yeah, because he's got an extra player, right? Because they've 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 both got. Um... <laughs> Wait, well, no. no. Do they Art's both have ten? ten? Yeah, they've both Art's got, got ten. ten. Yeah, they've both got ten. But Art's got an extra player. But, but yeah, he's also got an extra one removed. God, I was being. Yeah, because both Necro teams have one bench, right? Yeah, yeah. And then um, Art now had two bench because of the extra player. Yeah. So they're both on 10. But it's a golem for a wolf. So like in the grand scheme of things, I think the strength 4 guard is pretty brutal. But then the wolf really limits Artemis on defense for like sacking the ghoul. Because Wrestle is his best way to sack it. Yeah. yeah and the movement 8, obviously. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. I think I'd probably rather have the guard fleshy than the second wolf. But... On defense, but then on offense, I think I'd rather have the speed, right, to to get the score. Run around. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's pretty tough either way, right? Mm. I, I I'm sure this one of them examples where both of them will feel hard done by that is that player. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... Art will feel very hard done by here. Fails the ninety four percent knockdown. Ninety four. Some would yeah, say that's the other thing as well. Is like Kalon has a chance of that guy coming back, whereas Art just nope. Yeah, true, true. Nope. Gets the full. Yeah. Out. The fish's ref is garbage. Yeah. It, they, they should just they should just stun someone if anything, and that'd be it. Even then, it's pretty brutal. But yeah. <laughs> then he gets killed. Che. <laughs> <laughs> Bay with the 94% knockdown. <laughs> yes, I heard. Classic. Absolutely classic. So, so now Art has got no werewolves. He's just got <laughs> a goal. Yep. And we're almost certainly going overtime. So again, yeah. the thing now for Kalon is Kalon has to focus on the damage, right? He has to he has to chop down as much as he can before it goes to overtime. But this is another thing as well. Is uh, rerolls. You need to try and make sure you're not using rerolls. Right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, hundred percent. So you, you probably got to play it a little safer than what you normally would, like where possible. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely prioritize banging. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Just pick people off with your wolves. Uh, like obviously, it's hard for you to just win the fight straight up because he's got two fleshies and you've only got one. 
but you can do a lot of picking off with wolves and keep the ball very safe and uh, whatever you do don't just run like a mad lad here with a two man cage like that's one thing you would never dream of doing in a situation but let, no. let's, see, let's see what Kaelon does <laughs> oh well there's one <laughs> there's another one <laughs> And uh, there's a double rush. So yeah, that was <laughs> not what I would have done. Yeah, I think I think we can all say that that was not good. And I don't know what Kalon was smoking to think that that was a good idea. Double rush with two rerolls, where the only way you win this game is in overtime. Like just pick pick off zombies, right? Win the fight, move players. You're actually, you've actually got an advantage now, right? So, yeah, that was... Ah, oh, thank you, Team and Taylor. And hello, Chicken. Hello, Mordredi. I imagine Art was okay with this now, because even though he's lost both um, wolves, um, there's a chance to... You know, get a bit of a lockdown here, and like free up these two players, right? Like the all three of these zombies could have just been knocked over, one by claw, and you know just have a nice spot. Yeah, I, yeah, like just it's turn the left side. Yeah, <laughs> it's turn eleven. I, 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 I think I feel like this was Kalen's worst turn. Uh, just doing moving these three up. Well, now he's stuck. He's got to go forwards. Yes. Uh... Oh, oh, spicy reroll, yeah, Ben. So that's stopping the going forward. <coughs> Double GFI. But uh, what Kalon can do is just simply pow everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad strategy. It's a it's a pretty good strategy, yeah. Yeah. As as far as strats go, just simply simply remove everything is a pretty good one. Oh, one one D pass. Oh, I don't know. Into, into removal. <laughs> Which allows him to touch the ghoul away. <laughs> and then this random one dice blitz, which uses a reroll. Like. Yeah. You know, at this point, I really don't know what Kalon's smoking. He literally could have gone one, two, three, four, five. He could have blocked this guy, right? Could have freed up yeah. the player and stuff, and and then that gives him a two D blitz. Or he could have just moved to here and not blitz at all. But I mean, you might as well blitz. This I like guy. the blitz there. Uh, yeah, I like um, the blitz there. Uh, yeah. And it was wrestle as well, so it was like a three plus to not let you not put yourself down. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that was. Um, yeah. Questionable. Questionable. Yep. Now he slams the uh, wolf to the sideline. Does he foul this wolf? Two assists? His fouling's gone so well so far. It looks like it, yeah. It looks like no, it. No, it doesn't. Just pin it. Yeah, happy to control it. And not obviously not gonna do a one D. You can't do a one D when you mercilessly slid anybody who makes a block the two dice blockless block. You can't really try a one D blockless block, can you? But it would have been alright, you know, like either he either he beats him off and stops him hitting him, because like this guy isn't doing anything except moving there, right? Like so so by not by not making this one D, it's just giving Kale on the two D on him, right? Because He's still utilising these two the same way, so I, I do think maybe he should have just made that one D block. But um, I understand not doing it. Nope, fail dodge. <laughs> I didn't hate staying there to be honest. No. Tie up a golem. Yeah. He makes the surf. 
to nothing, of course. <laughs> Sidestepper comes in. The race are really nice, aren't they? In this uh, in this kind of format, where they just get the guard instantly. Awful, Jimmy. That awful. <laughs> Only a push. So Kalon could just like you know pretty easily score here, couldn't he? Could he? Hmm. Not so easy, actually. He's got a dodge or something, hasn't he, to get the score? Yeah. Oh yeah, blitz with the blitz with the wraith. And then uh, block with the wolf. This is a two into a one, isn't it? It is, Jimmy. Full power on a ghoul. <laughs> a full power. The stun means he can probably stall for a turn, but maybe he shouldn't, right? Maybe he shouldn't. Because uh, if he scores this turn, he's got two turns on defense with two wolves. Or uh, maybe with no wolf. He might actually, you know, like that's Dio's whole thing, wasn't it? You know, like if you're scoring on yeah. turn seven is worse than scoring on turn six in, in some ways. Maybe something. Maybe like I don't know if he considered score there, but he, he should have considered the score there. Even if he didn't do it, he should have considered it. Yeah. Hello, Stradi K. So we're gonna do uh, Super League after this, and then back to a few cup games. There's been a bunch of cup games, like four, I think. What? Dodge, games. double rush, no problem. Oh my god! Another a zombie dodge. dodge. And no problem. Rush. Full power. Freeze another go Oh no, that was what they got him. What an absolute dice lord. Oh, and he gets yeah, and he gets the armor break as well. <laughs> and a Kaz! <laughs> and then he gets a and then he gets a Kaz off the the one thing that foul the one thing that failed got him a Kaz. So yeah, that was a hell of a hell of a turn from out. So now the only play here that Kalon has is dodge with the ghoul, right? Yeah. The only thing you can do, because if you if you dodge with this guy, you might it's a one in nine anyway. Yeah. And then you use your last reroll, so you just there's there's no other option except to just. Start. Yeah, yeah. I'm just dodging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the on, the only choice you can make is to dodge. I wouldn't even make the block first because uh, you know that you've got the reroll, so. Conserve it. it does do the dodge. And but he gets the power. Oh well, wait, no. Wait. He does, yeah. No, that that went really weird. He didn't get the power with the wolf. No, he didn't blitz with the wolf. He blitzed with the ghoul. Oh god. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because the thing is is if he blitzes with the wolf and he rolls foul appearance, the wolf stays there and then he dodges. But yeah, like but... so he blitzes with the ghoul. But if he if the ghoul wins, he loses his activation. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely better just to dodge. Like it's, yeah, it's yeah, a million yeah. percent it better was, just to dodge with it. It yeah. was crazy. And yeah. then like when you get the pow, you can actually stall this. Like as long as you run up behind the wolf as far as um, the the wraith can't tag. All right. And because the golem can't make it across, nobody else can make yeah. it across. That is actually a legit, really good stalling point. And then he just oh, scores. Yeah, so. that would have been the point in doing it that way to get the stall. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you don't want to do it anyway because if you roll a one, then you just sat there, right? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I hate. I hated that. That was definitely way worse than just dodging. So there you go. Yeah, and he lost. He lost the reroll at that point as well. So it's just literally one in six to end your activation. Like, so. Yeah. 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 Since you, oh, since you, yeah. yeah, but I mean, I think that still was all right. Like, nah, as long it was, as you better, it was definitely better just to score because you don't have to use your last reroll on that. Yeah. No, I mean, once he got to that stage, I thought the stall, but not like not before, like yeah, just punch. Yeah, just get the score in. And uh, as it happened, Art did fail his wolf, so he's got no wolves to try a two turn. So it's a bit like basically impossible, right? He's only got one ghoul, Art. So, <laughs> only got one goal. 
And it's going to be a mad potato as well because yeah. everybody's movement for. Yeah. Yeah, there's like no way. There's no way you can do it. And yeah, he fails the hand off. And, I mean, he would have just been a mad potato. Yeah, there's nothing you could do. Would have been would have been really interesting if if Kaelin had scored the previous turn, honestly, and then like you know there could have been two wolves in the backfield <laughs> and a lot. Of yeah. Surely he could have blitzed the zombie. Yeah. Just put his zombie in and then blitz with a goal. It was like and then run backwards. Yeah, but then you don't run back as far. I don't hear just. You can't worry. He only has to run left. He doesn't have to run back. Like he just runs left as long as he's far away from the wraiths. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah, fair. I mean, the double skulls is a thing, right? But still. Yeah. This fleshy stayed out all game, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's literally because he because he didn't stand firm, right? Yeah. yeah. If he didn't, if he just stood firm, then none of that happens. Yeah. No brutal, it's like the maximum punish. And this click has murdered him, and Art gets back his wolf, so he does have a wolf and a So you, you did the same thing, wasn't it? Was it you didn't stand firm, or you did stand firm? I can't remember which way around you did. Yeah, yeah, so I literally, I literally stood up my wolf so that I could stand firm with him, and then blocked into him, or blitzed into him, and then didn't stand firm. Uh <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, I mean, see, if you'd appreciated knobs as much as I did, Jimmy, you'd, you'd know how to handle your stand firm. Yeah, thanks. Um, so both have got three out, but of course, because of the because of the kill, Art has got ten players to kill on nine. No, Art's got. Oh, I can't do maths. Kalon's got ten. Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's a dead they've call. Both yeah, got ten. Got nine. They've both got No, they've yeah. both got. They've, yeah, Kalon's got nine. Nine, and Art's got ten. And Art's got ten. Because yeah. they've both got three out, yeah. But Art only had one goal to start with. Yeah. So he's got one goal and one wolf, whereas Kalon's got two wolves and a goal. Yeah. And then but Art's got two golems, whereas. But uh, Kalon's got no rerolls. Yeah, and Art's got two. So big and he's favorite. got the ball. Yeah, big favourite Art at this point. High kick. It's right in the end zone. Oh my goodness. I'm playing mine tomorrow, Strad EK. Oh, against the uh, talk, 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 yeah. Completely diced by the, uh, by the draw, just quietly. Just beats him off, doesn't care too much about the wolf blitz. Oh, we blitz, we're blitzing the fleshy. Little bit greedy, right? Because if you push, push, you you uh, hit the his wolf. But he doesn't. He gets him on the first one. I think I would have not stood firm there just to just to stop the wolf pulling back as far, right? The wolf would have only been here if he didn't stand firm. Nice. Oh, one in nine, and all of a sudden a gaping hole. Wonder if he should have re-rolled that. Because this is a gaping hole. All of a sudden art is in extreme trouble. Like he doesn't even need a blitz to, to open it, does he? He can hit the wolf. Yeah, wolf on wolf. Should have stood his goal on the ball ready. Turn ordering. Lovely wolf. Probably should have tagged the wraith, right? Tagged the wraith from behind and tagged the fleshy. I'd have tagged this wraith 100%. wasn't yeah yeah it was a touchback yeah, yeah it was he just moved him forward so the guard the guard cage is pretty good and the stun's pretty good for art isn't it look a dog fun cheese yeah 
and then the one D power frees up this ray. Nice solve. Yep, yep, good turn from out, very good turn and under under a lucky stun as well. Made it incredible when he's you know, Kalon's only got the one fleshy. Yeah, that's fair, Rayna. I'm I'm mostly just listening when I when I watch anybody stream the ball three. Oh dear, oh this must have just been a misclick. I Kalon surely. Lots of misclicks, not good not good Blood Bowl 3 play. Again, you know, like it's it's un, you know, it's one of those things, right? Like it sucks that it's not bad Blood Bowl. Like like the stand firm, right? It sucks that this guy's been out for the whole game because of a misclick. But at the end of the day, that's all most games are, isn't it? It's clicking the right buttons. <laughs> yeah. Stunned Wolf is huge for Arp. Yep. Whoa. Oh! Le Dubelais. Mm. I like tagging the Golem there just to keep him there. Mm. Yeah, it's just we it's just a weird thing, isn't it? Because it because it's like, you know, a simulation of a board game, isn't it? Like, you know, you're never gonna misclick in chess, are you? You know, like you're not gonna just accidentally Whoops! I've fucking you know done this move that I didn't intend to, and like you know, not that Blood Bowl's chess at all. It's just like it's just not. It's not, you know, you're simulating playing a board game, and you would never do this in a board game. So I understand everybody's frustration. <laughs> and yeah, the clicking, having to click many times, but uh, luckily I, my auto clicker solves that for me. <laughs> A 1D blitz in a stand firm. Hate that. What, so, yeah. so this is one of the things that, I, that for Kalon here, if he cares about my opinion, this was another time to just pick off a pick off a zombie, right? Just blitz him with your wolf, especially if you had two block wolves. Just blitz him off, you know, cas him, run back, you know, just it could have been picking people off like for all of the second half, and then yeah, a 1D against a. I guess it's done firm, dude. Not good. Right, so now with the guards on each side, he can freely hit the uh, wraith with a wolf because it can't sidestep to a non two dice square but it can sized up to a foul appearance square <laughs> this makes it very tight. this i mean this is this is this is good careful play from art isn't it just you know don't take any risks he doesn't have to like Kalon doesn't really have enough players to put him under significant pr pressure and like isn't as well right keeping those two players back because if you put him under pressure then you've got no cover and he can he can you know run away so it's very hard no rerolls and uh, yeah it's got to be tough. Players, very tough but again you know could have just picked off this zombie instead we go for a 1 in 36 hit on the ball which is makes you pretty exposed. Yeah, that was a bit weird. Yeah. Not just pick off the zombie, like you're also freeing the golem, right? So you're getting like that golem just on that zombie is a mad good trade for Artemis, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, this 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 wraith is just single handedly <laughs> single handedly keeping Kalon in the game. <laughs> He's gonna blitz to get him over, yes, yeah, that's, that's nice. And then I guess he's just gotta dodge the wolf. For the eye cage to protect 
protect against crazy dice because now you know Kalon really only has the crazy dice. And that is probably all she wrote. Art gets to be very, very sensible now. Though I don't like that as much as. Oh, can he not reach? Okay, that one couldn't reach. In that case, I'll allow it. Yeah, I, I, oh, wow, one in nine sucks. And that this leaves the this leaves the uh, hit on the ball, doesn't it? Because if uh, if Kalon one d's this guy, okay, he's moving him in. That was a double GFI. So now this doesn't it be an uphill? This was going to be an uphill, right? But now it could be a one yeah, d. Yeah, it's no one d. And then if he powers him, he gets one d on the ball. Um, into an uphill, which sucks. But if, if sorry, Even if he powers him, if he powers him, he gets two dice. If he powers him, he gets two dice. On a push, he gets one dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a power, he gets two dice. So yeah, one in three chance of two dice. Well, then he's got the dodge with the wolf as well. Oh yeah, true, true, and no rerolls. So it's, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> nah. Okay. Like, once you lose your rerolls, it's like everything's. It's awful. Um, yeah. Um, that I don't like. I, and this yeah. I don't like. I get this that you want to do like the safer thing, but it's just not giving you enough odds of success, right? The success state. Uh, you're more likely for this to work, but. The, oh my god, and this dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Like, while you can be more likely for this to work, it's like, it's not going to win you the game, is it? Is the problem. Yeah. Like there, I would have just tried for the power of that zombie, right? Just try to get the power of the zombie so that you get the bigger yeah. success state of getting the flesh I mean, over. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, do you mean, like, those sort of things, like the kind of wrong Blood Bowl, but also you've got no players, you've got no rerolls, you're against Artemis... You know, he's he's seven squares away from the end zone on turn 23. Like, you know, you, you need impact, not just percentage chance of not avoiding a turn order, right? Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so... I, I don't know what this was all about. This is just weird. So, yeah, so definitely... That was very... <laughs> I guess Art was... Let's go back, because this... I kind of missed Art's whole turn. <laughs> so, yeah, he's he's only got one free player. So, like, may, maybe this wolf should not have dodged, right? Maybe the wolf should have just stayed there, because Art only has, like, one free player at the moment, and he needs to power this wraith to free two players. Like, he literally just needs a power... And he has to move the ball first because otherwise he can sidestep to there. Yeah. And I guess the wolf would have just got two deep by that fleshy. On oh, this blitzed as well. Okay, no, I, I don't like that blitzing. I feel like you just block with the first one, right? And then you blitz with the second one if you have to. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand why he hasn't blitzed with that one. Yeah, that was that was pretty greedy because that one... And okay, then if, if you, you get one in nine... Yeah, two, three... Well, the five. push, like, if you get the push, you just stay where you are, but the wolf is free anyway, so it's like... Yeah, that was that was weird from out. And then, yeah, he dodges there instead of blocking, and I guess he's scared of something with that block, but... Or to here to give him this 2D. After he's moved the wolf, but he could have blocked before he moved the wolf. Really weird from out, but yeah, also really weird, weird from Kalon because he should have made this dodge right to make us a two D. Because if okay, he's got wrestle, but surely the the guard in has to be better, right? So you've got just more chance of powering him with your wrestle and I don't know. It's a three plus. Maybe it's correct. I don't know, but like I want to hit him with two dice rather than one because if it fails, you're in the uphill and you're definitely not getting him on the uphill, right? So yeah, but then like also the problem is with putting that guard in there is that then you're doing the push in the wrong because you have to push up to go one into two in 
But we, oh, no, we still get the yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. still get the two. If, if you're in the uphill, you're in you're up shit creek anyway. So yeah. I'll, but I mean, like you're going. Yeah, you're going two into. If you go two into one, then you can't like, go two into you, one. You can't go two into one. You can if you push him up through the middle, right? If you had that guard in there. No. Oh no no no! The guard no. on the wall. Yeah. Oh, but then this has got the bonus of if you don't turn over, then you can pin him the sideline on the sidestep. So actually, yeah. Errata, yeah. errata, pretty good from Kalon as it turns this out. It's really good. Uh, really good. Having, so that having, wolf, uh, that wolf there that just tagged that flesh column. I think that needs to dodge through that gap and yeah. go maximum and tag that top column. Yeah, okay, how far away was he? One, two, might not have even had a dodge. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if I know he couldn't. So yeah, he'd have had to dodge. Or do a 1D it? block, do a 1D block, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that wolf should be tagging that column. Yeah, yeah, the 1D block is better than the dodge. Because then you've just got the upside of like you know powering him. But again, if he try, you know, if he'd done the blocks the other way, going for the pow, then this would have been a fleshy here, and then you'd have definitely punched with a fleshy first, which then would have given him the route up to tag that fleshy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, like the knock-on decisions. Yeah, yeah, the uh, wildfly effect. Yeah. So Art takes him out here. Um, it was funny. Hargrim and Keith were streaming this live i did see this and uh, hargrim thought that he couldn't th thought that art, this was wrong from art but he can't sidestep anywhere that stops him just dodging right like so the bad thing about doing it so so there were two ways to do this um you could blitz with the ghoul which is a two dice into a dodge right it's a two dice on a wrestler yeah on a wrestler into a dodge um, but if you pow him, it, it, it's still a dodge. Whereas this way, it's four dice, including, um, like, wrestles a success for you, so you're very, very likely to put him down. But this adds the two plus. The, uh, adding the two plus to the blitz makes me less sure about this being better. But it's definitely better against not foul appeal. Well, the other thing is, it's not just the two plus; is the fact that you lose your activation, right? So. Well, yeah, you just you just don't score if you roll the one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like you can't just fail it and then jump over and score anyway. Like yeah. it's. So that two plus does make it different, but I don't know how different. But even if you got the push, you would have like you'd have just had to dodge, right? So it's it was definitely correct if there was no foul appearance. I'm, but I'm not sure how much of a difference the foul appearance makes. I suspect it was correct. But uh, the foul appearance did surely have some kind of impact on whether that should have been the play or not. Maybe, maybe not, right? Maybe it just didn't make a lot of difference. But it probably had some impact. Oh no, I think we're going to miss the some first. Impact. Not seeing the spinning. Okay, now it's in. Oh, fantastic! That's in the match. Perfect. <laughs> and there we go. There is actually the summary screen. Artemis one two one. Congratulations, Artemis. Commiserations, Kale. On great game to kick off the NAF Cup. Thank Pretty you, nice. Jimmy. Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. Glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.